back to our chest tutorial today we'll be learning how to make a bishop sleeve okay bishop sleeve is a kind of sleeve that is usually puffy and it has like maybe elastic gathering the puffiness at the hemline or a cuff so now i have my basic sleeve here and the lines you are seeing here are my slash lines that i'm still going to spread so this is my basic sleeve it's just the normal basic sleeve the only difference in this sleeve is that i did not shape the m line you can see the same measurement that i took in the beginning here is what i just maintained down here this is what i'm trying to explain if you look at this basic sleeve you will see that this has been shaped because it's just penciled down like this but in the case of this one i did not shape it so i just let it down i did that because i want my slash lines to be even if you can see if you can see very well you see that i have the same distance and the same straight line all through assuming i shaped it in like this it means what i have on the hemline will be lesser than what i have here and i'll be have i'll have to start sl uh, slanting my lines and i do not want that if you want to use that to it's okay to still give you the same result too. and since i'm still spreading it it's not going to be a puffy it's not going to be a fitted sleeve that's why i just left it like this so now I have around five slash lines one two three four five i have five slash lines and they are all they all have equal interval so the next thing i'm going to do now is to slash open these slash lines and then i'm going to spread it so to do this i'm just going to cut through these lines but not completely i just cut it and then i'll stop at the tip here and then do the same for all the five lines that i have okay so i've slashed all of these lines now the next thing now is just for me to either spread directly on my fabric or i'm going to grab a fresh paper and then place this on it and then spread it on the paper okay so i have a fresh pattern now i'm just going to take this and then spread it on this new pattern but remember this is like a half scale of the sleeve it's not a full sleeve which means this side of the sleeve is going to be on fold when i'm cutting it on the fabric and it's the center of the sleeve so i'm maintaining that center point on this fresh pattern that is i'm just following the straight line that i have there so once i follow that i'm going to hold it with a tape the keeper is folding so i'm just trying to i'll try to hold this with the tape and then i can start my spreading so now how you spread it depends on the volume that you are aiming to get if you want a really big sleeve you can really go for so you can see i'm trying to spread it now and you can see that the once you spread it becomes bigger and it's already going out of my paper so now i'm going to remove this and then shift it down a bit so that it will give me enough room to spread my pattern so now i've shifted i've shifted it down and then i can start spreading it so like i said the amount you spread depends on how big you want your sleeves to be it can be like two two inches three or four inches in cover depending on what you want but for this story i think i'll be going for maybe three inches so i'll just place my tape i'll just place my tape like this i want to shift it up so that we can see what i'm doing so once i secure the first one like this Okay, so once the first one is secured, I'll be using three inches interval between each spread. So now I'll bring in the second slash line. Sorry, the paper is folding. And then I'll measure three inches interval, three inches apart. I hope you can see this. From the end of one slash line to the other. So once I have my three inches like this, I'll take my masking tape and then use it to hold it so i'm going to maintain the three inches all through my spread for all the five slash lines that i have so you can see i have just three inches between them just from 
this point to this point three inches so now i'll take the next slash line and then measure another three inches and then place it till i get to the last one and like i said this is not a constant you can spread it as much as you want okay so i've slashed everything now and between each slash lines are 33 inches spread so now i'm just going to redraw my m line remember it's now different i'm going to redraw it and cut out my new shape so using a curved ruler i'm just going to follow the new shape that i have there to form my new m line following the new shape and then I'll continue like that okay so this is my new hemline I remember I said you can either use a cuff at the to gather all this remember this is now bigger than my my sleeve or you can just create a casing for your elastic but in this case i'll be using a curve so now the little explanation i want to make is that for the length of this leaf the actual length that i'm working with is 22 inches i have 21 inches here so for the full sleeve is 22 inches so now if you are using a cuff, you need to determine the inches of your cuff. For example, if you are using like a 3 inches cuff, you can either deduct the 3 inches from your 22 inches. Or you can just leave your 22 inches and, and cut a 3 inches cuff. That is if you want your sleeve to, the, the big part of the sleeve to be so big that it falls on the cuff. Like for me now, I needed to, my whole sleeve is 22 inches. Now I cut 21 inches for my actual sleeve because I don't want it to be just exact. By the time I finish it, I want this part of this sleeve to still fall on the curve that I'm going to be using to gather the hemline. So by the time I finish this, I can explain better so that we will understand this work. But I just want to mention that and if what you are using is elastic if you are not using a curve it means you have to take your actual measurement and then add a little bit to it for the elastic casing and for if you just want it to be really puffy around there so you can add extra to it or just maintain what you have so i'm cutting this out now so i've cut this out now you can see how big this is so like i said if you don't want it this big you can make this space here the interval space to maybe one and a half or two inches and if you want to be bigger than this you can make it up to four or five inches so now i'll be indicating that this side has to be cut on fold okay so when i'm cutting my fabric i need to place this side on fold before i place it on my fabric to trace out my pattern so now you can use any fabric of your choice any fabric that you wish to make this cuff with so now for the cuff part of it, I need to take the measurements of that area. So now it shouldn't be too tight at the same time, it shouldn't be too slim. So I think 8 inches is free enough, it's okay for me. If you want it a bit tighter, I can use 7.5 inches. So now on fold 7.5 inches, 8 inches will give me 4 inches. Okay, and if I have same allowance to it, I'll have 4.5. So I'm going to be placing my fabric on fold and then measure the four and a half inches and then you determine the length that you wish to use so i think two inches is okay for me for my sleep for my cuff so now if i'm using two inches i'm going to be measuring four because i'll be folding it into two and i had one inch allowance for a minute so that'll be five inches so i'm measuring five inches by four and a half inches i remember the four and a half inches is on fold so I measure that now and then cut it out. So this is my cuff now, four and a half by five inches. And when I open it, this is what I have. So I cut five inches here because remember I said I'll be folding it into two like this. So when I fold it into two, I'll have this, and this is going to give me around two and a half. 
so the two and half i added a half inch so that by the time i sew it together to my actual sleeve i'll be left with the actual two inches cuff that i intend to use i hope you understand that so i'll be transferring this to my fabric now okay so i've cut this on my fabric i'm using an organza fabric like i said you can use any fabric of your choice so this is the main sleeve and this is my cuff so now i'm going to remove this and then gather all of this all of the hemline to fit into this my small cuff okay okay so i'll be gathering all of this to fit into this cuff and i'll bring you back to show us okay so i've gathered it now as you can see so now i'm going to be folding this over to conceal the gathered part so i'll fold in my five inch seam allowance and then use it to cover up these rough edges that i have it's an organza fabric so it's a bit slippery so i'm just going to literally fold it and then use it to hide the seams like this so that it can be neatly finished before i join it on the sides okay so the sleeve has successfully been sandwiched inside the cuff and you can see it is neatly finished both inside and outside so now the next thing to do now is to take the sides together and then shape it okay so i'm going to go over to the machine now and then shape it on the side and then i'll hang it on the so i've shaped it on the side now and then if we turn it out can see what we have okay so this is what we have you can see that it is puffy here and it maintains its original arm o measurement here so i'm going to try to add this on the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like this is the sleeve this is the ham hole area you can see there is no gather there and then it's just puffs round up to the cuff area so like i was saying you want this fullness to just fall over your cuff you can just increase the length of your sleeve okay and you can use any fabric of your choice to make this ankara dolphins anything you wish and you subscribe to our channel if you haven't and click on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we upload a new video see you in the next one bye